Hello, this is Mike Brennan from UnlockTheData.com. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to set up a data source for an Azure SQL database. This will be a simple installation, uh, encountering no problems and assuming no issues. If you do encounter problems with the installation of your own data source, then search out my next video, which will be troubleshooting the installation of an Azure data source for an Azure SQL database. Thanks for watching, um, and let's move on. Okay, let's get busy installing that data source. This is on a Windows 7 machine. The steps are very similar for XP. Uh, there are some subtle differences, but the instructions for XP should apply, I'm sorry, the instructions for Windows 7 should apply for Windows XP. We need to get to the control panel, which we're gonna go start, control panel, then administrative tools, and then data, source, data sources, ODBC. We're gonna click the Add button. You may see multiple uh, drivers installed. The first one that you see listed there is the 2005 driver. The one that just says SQL Server is the 2000 driver. That's a very old driver. The one that you want is the SQL Server Native Client 10, which most likely will not be installed on your machines. You'll need to download it. I've got a link for that download on my website, unlockthedata.com, which I'll show you briefly at the end of this video, uh, plus many other resources related to uh, Azure. So really to begin, we have to click this Finish button. It's kind of backwards. Uh, don't be confused by that, but we're going to go ahead and click Finish. And really, again, we're just beginning. I'm going to assign a name, just Azure Data. And I'm just going to copy that and use the same description. Next step would be to hit the down arrow on the right side of the server box. And what that's going to do is that's going to search your network for all the instances of SQL Server. The one you're looking for is the name of your server appended with the word Axiom. In this case, it's unlock the data 7 backslash Axiom. And then we're going to go ahead and click Next. You have two options here. If you, uh, if this is the only installation of a SQL Server, then you're going to want uh, integrated with Windows authentication. If you know that you have an SA username and password, then go ahead and put those credentials in here. But I know in my installation it's with integrated Windows authentication, so I'm switching it up there. Go ahead and click Next again. I'm going to click this box to tell it which SQL database to connect to. In this case, it's the one called Azure. In most cases, you'll see two here. You'll see Azure and you'll see Azure sample data. Sample data is obviously the sample data. Azure is your production data. If you do see multiple uh, choices here, it's because you're probably running multiple databases and you would need to know which database is which. Go ahead and select Azure, click Next, and click Finish. I'm going to test the data source, test completed successfully, click OK, click OK, click OK, I'm going to close down the control panel, and then I'm just going to take you out to my website so you can see when you get to my website, go to Axiom Users, and then Resources, and you'll be under ODBC, you'll see the links to all the uh, different drivers for SQL as well as uh, Management Studio. Thanks for watching and uh, please search YouTube for other instructional videos related to your Azure database. Again, this is Mike Brennan from UnlockData.com and I hope you uh, check out some of my other videos. Thanks.